Typically, any time you delete a file or folder on your computer, it puts it over here in the recycle bin that's on your desktop. You can see I've got something already in it because it shows some crumpled up pieces of paper. And it's going to sit there until I do one of two things. That I either empty the recycle bin, thereby permanently deleting the files or folders within the trash can, or I restore them back to their original locations. For example, if I come up here and I want to delete this file, I can either select it and hit the delete key on the keyboard, or when in doubt, right click on it, and go down and left click on delete. And it says, are you sure you want to move it to the recycle bin? Yes. And there it goes. Come over here, double click on the recycle bin, and there it is. Now again, one of the two things I can do here is I can either restore this back to its original location or just click and drag it to the desktop. But to restore it back to its original location, you can go ahead and select it and then up on the command bar it says restore this item. When you hover over it, it says it'll put this file back in its original location or when in doubt you can right click on it and still do a restore. Of course if I click off in a blank area, it now gives me all items. I can restore all items that are within the trash can here. I'll just go ahead and restore the promotions, right click on it, left click on restore, close out and it's back in its original location, the exercises folder. Then of course the second option is to empty the recycle bin and I can do that one of two ways, either double click on it, come up here on the command bar and click on empty, in which case it'll permanently delete the files contained therein or close out, right click on it and there it is, empty. Go ahead and click on it. Are you sure you want to permanently delete the files in the recycle bin? Yes. It goes nowhere else, but it's permanently deleted. And you can see the trash can is now clean. No crumpled up pieces of paper within it, so there's nothing in there. Double click, nothing. Now I said typically that when you delete something on your computer, it goes to the recycle bin, but you can bypass the recycle bin and have it permanently deleted. And to do that, all you have to do is select the file, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and tap the delete key and it will say are you sure you want to permanently delete this file and thereby bypassing the recycle bin or the holding tank because again anything that goes inside this recycle bin will hold it forever until you do the two things that I just talked about I'm gonna go ahead and say no now if you want to be able to give your computer away to somebody else and you said well I permanently deleted all my files on my computer because it says so don't trust it I'm gonna go over that in the next training video and show you how you can properly clean up your computer so the sensitive information will be completely wiped away from it and that way you can feel more confident when you do give away your computer or sell it off to somebody else. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.